What's up everyone and welcome to Jakeonomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. Tesla accounts for almost a fifth of the return that you have generated in that five year time span. Which of your current holdings, Kathy, do you think will supply the biggest lift in the next five years? Tesla is still in the running, but I would have to say the biggest upside surprises are going to come from the genomic space. Uh, and that's because the convergence of DNA sequencing, uh, artificial intelligence, and gene therapies, importantly, CRISPR gene editing, are going to uh, cure disease. That convergence is going to cure disease. Now we have real science and technology surfacing the mutations in our genomic profile. And, um, and uh, as they surface those mutations, what do we see? We see the earliest manifestations of disease. And now with the combination of artificial intelligence and gene editing, we're able to both anticipate diseases and cure them potentially. What's up everyone and welcome back to Jakeonomics. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a company being hyped up all over the place this past week as a potential ARK Invest addition to the ARK G ETF. And we're gonna uncover whether or not the hype is warranted or not. Before we get into it, if you want to grow your portfolio exponentially, be sure to check out our Smart Money Squad Patreon. There are various tiers for your goals and budget. You get my buy and sell alerts instantly, my weekly watch list and entry points every Sunday, as well as updates throughout the week whenever I see something interesting in the market, and of course, access to the private Discord. The link for that is in the description below. We also have a free Discord with over 3,000 investors, so be sure to join that. And we are also on Instagram as well, so hit us up at Jakeonomics with a follow on IG. Those links are also in the description below. So make that thumbs up turn blue and subscribe if you're new. It really does help the channel grow. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. The genomic revolution is officially here, and for those paying attention, has been here quite longer. Driven by advances in scientific knowledge and falling costs, scientists can target the genetic cause of a disease and repair it at the source, raising the possibility of curative treatments for afflictions like blindness and cancer. ARK Invest has brought a lot of investors and eyes to this industry, and the potential is staggering. According to Goldman Sachs, genome medicine is projected to become a $5 trillion industry. ARC's ARCG ETF, focused on genomics, was their best performing one this year, giving investors a 182% return on their investment. Now, personally, I invested into a company called Invite back in the $25 range, and I ended up selling it at $50 when I 2X'd. However, at the time, my understanding of this whole industry, admittedly, was not very good. The industry is extremely complex, and though I've been spending lots of time learning and trying to understand it in the past few months, I still feel as though I got tons more to learn. That being said, I do have a much better understanding now, and feel pretty comfortable looking into these genomic stocks. Although I highly recommend ARCG as a solid investment for most people, I personally don't plan to make it a part of my portfolio, as I take it kind of like a challenge to learn about each company within that ETF and then pick my favorite or favorites. The company we're going to discuss today is one that is actually not currently part of the ARCG fund, but it does show immense potential to be possibly picked up by the fund, and this will be something to keep a very close eye on as a catalyst this month. So the company we are going to discuss today is BioNanoGenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. Now this stock went absolutely bananas last week. The stock ran from $0.67 cents to $3.08 in the last 5 trading sessions and then hit the $4 mark in after hours trading. 
Now, BioNanogenomics is a genome analysis company, and what they do is they provide tools and services based on their Sapphire system to scientists and clinicians conducting genetic research and patient testing, and provide diagnostic testing as well. BioNano's Sapphire system is a platform for ultra-sensitive and ultra-specific structural variation detection that allows the acceleration of the search for new diagnostics and therapeutic targets and to streamline the study of changes in chromosomes, which is known as cytogenetics. Now, Sapphire is here to replace traditional cytogenetics methods and has such a wide range of applications, it's crazy evolutionary biology, genetic engineering studies, solid tumor research, undiagnosed genetic disorders, and much, much more. This is legitimately a game changer. Maxim analyst Jason McCarthy had this to say, and I quote, Digital cytogenetics is one of the areas where Sapphire is, has the potential to change the clinical diagnostic landscape. Current methods are labor and time intensive, and therefore costly. Sapphire offers a more efficient and streamlined alternative as well as potentially improved diagnostic yield. As more LDTs are developed, we anticipate that adoption for Sapphire should increase, driving revenue for BioNano. In a comparison test with Pacific Biosciences Solution, it was found that PacBee's Hi-Fi chemistry was not as efficient or cost-effective as BioNano's solution. Across 32 different human genomes, PAC-B found only 72% of the large structural variants that BioNano's Optical Genome Mapping or OGM, detected. One of the issues with genome modification is the cost. BioNano appears to be significantly cost-effective. The platform's estimated cost of $500 per genome comes in far below the $10,000 to $20,000 per genome PAC-B has to offer. Now one thing I do need to point out, because it seems like a lot of people don't know this, but BNGO is genome mapping, and PACB is genome sequencing. BNGO is not a sequencing company. They will beat PACB in mapping, it seems, but PACB has the best sequencing tech out there right now. This is a situation where I see value in investing into both of these companies for different reasons. They complement one another. Yes, they're in direct competition in one of the aspects, but they do end up complementing each other. Now, PACB is currently the largest holding in the ARC G ETF. It is expected that ARC Invest will be meeting with BNGO soon, and clearly the potential for them to be adding uh, BNGO to their fund is there. Literally the day after the study came out showing these results, one of ARC's leading genomic analysts, Simon Barnett, reached out to BNGO reps on Twitter wanting to connect with their CEO. Investor sentiment is already high on this stock, and if ARC adds them to the fund and depending on how big the position becomes, then I would expect some pretty bullish sentiment coming out of there too. After looking into BioNano and the whole genomic space the past few months, the science BNGO is using is so cool. Look at all the success stories in 2020 in the genomic space. CRISPR, Invite, Editas, Intelia. In my mind, the area and focus BNGO and PACB are looking at is, could very well be, I'm not going to say is, but could very well be the next pop in 2021 in my opinion. Biotech, disease screenings, medicines, this is going to be a game changer in my opinion. Valuation wise, PACB trades at 10 times BNGO, which is in line with the top line revenue, where PACB reports 15 to 20 million quarterly revenues and BNGO hovers around 2 million. However, the current valuation does not take into account two things. BioNano has potentially a better product at a significantly cheaper cost. Given this hot industry and, you know, the, the, the trajectory that it's going to take, we think here at Jakeonomics that at a bare minimum, BNGO should repeat the 2020 stock performance of Pack b which was 5x. Now, given that it is a better product in their niche and the potential to be added to ArcG, our price target here at Jakeonomics, and this is if they do get added to ArcG, is $16 for 2021. 
Now, what am I doing? Well, I currently own 412 BNGO warrants at an average cost of $2.20. I picked this up mid last week. But honestly, after all the research that I've done into this industry and into this company, it kind of makes me want to buy more. Anything below $3 would be a strong buy for me, but if we see another spike up and crazy momentum keeping this above $4, then I will not be rushing in to buy more. Being a penny stock, there are risks attached to it, FDA approval being one, and an offering obviously would be a smart thing to do for the company to stack up on some much needed cash. And after such a crazy run up, I wouldn't consider this out of the question. However, if this were to happen, an offering that is, I would 100% be buying on the big dip uh, the offering would cause. Now, please remember that this is a penny stock and one with a lot of hype. Do not chase this. Do not invest without feeling comfortable. Short term, this could very well tank. Long term, their tech speaks for itself and I personally will be holding on to my position and letting, letting it play out in 2021. The goal of this video was not to tell you to buy, was not to tell you to follow the hype. This was to provide you with information to not follow the hype and to get you started on your own due diligence. Do not simply blindly invest without looking into this yourself. Like I preach on this channel, know what you own. You should only be investing into sectors and companies that you believe in and understand. If you want a safer pick in this industry, go with the ARC-G ETF. So that wraps it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it gave you a good brief insight into the genomics space as a whole, as well as into BioNano as a company that could potentially make some noise in 2021. And guys, if this video brought you some value, then please smash that like button for me as it really does help the channel a lot. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, check out the Patreon if you want access to all of the perks like the private Discord and access to all of my stocks and plays in a timely fashion and much, much more. And please feel free to join the free Smart Money Squad Discord server. And until next time, take care and invest smart.